oh, CO, what's up, man? I've been in this bitch for 10 hours already. It's fucking 2 o'clock in the morning. No toilet paper, no food. What's up, man? Oh, now you want to ignore me? You's a fucking pussy, yo. Leave this shit, man. This game off, man. Kids going to, man. Fuck, fuck, ass nigga, man. You ain't saying nothing, fam. You ain't talking. I don't feel like talking, man. Come on, man. What they get you from? I need a business, man. I need a business. For real, dog? For real? Yeah. Shit, I was just trying to create conversation, man. Name's Zap, by the way. And that's what it says in your driver's license? Zap? That's my name, homie. You a cop or some shit? Do I look like a cop to you? A fucking statement like that comes from cops. Make me wonder. So what happened tonight? Andrea, open the door. <laughs> open the door, Andrea. <laughs> Why can't you just say you're sorry? Why can't you just say that you feel bad for me and you embarrassed me? Is that what I am to you? An embarrassment? Why? <laughs> you know what? I don't need this shit anymore. I'm going out. We all do stupid shit. What matters is what we do afterwards. What are you, some type of ghetto motivational speaker or something? And you're a cop that's in the worst spot right now, B. Looks like all the roles you've been playing in your head got all mixed up tonight. Joe Castillo, the DA will see you now. Yo, Joe. Let me tell you something, man. It's what we do afterwards. Remember that. You look like shit. Good to see you too, Charlie. Who's this? This is Michelle. She's new to IA. Transferred over from homicide. So this happened to you, Sergeant Castillo. Charlie tells me you're a great cop. He is a great cop. He's just a fucking idiot. What were you thinking? You could have called me, called a cab? I know I'm an asshole. We knew that long before you got here, Joe. Fuck you. Look. You were drunk, all right? Don't say anything. We know how to work the system here, okay? Charlie, are you serious? Mind your own business. No. What do you mean this is how we deal with this stuff? Look, Miss Goody Two-Shoes, we don't let good cops get locked up. We need to do the right thing here. And I'm sorry, Joe, this happened to you, but... Well, uh, fuck the right thing, okay? What you need to do is keep your mouth shut, all right? You were drunk, Joe. You open your mouth, they're gonna ship you off to Rikers tonight. You'll be on the front page of every newspaper by the morning. I know I messed up bad. He needs to stand trial. No, what he needs to do is keep his mouth shut and let us work the system. They gotta make their quota this month. DWI, be a good pinch. I can't take a pinch. Of course. <laughs> Serve and protect. Happy forward. Yeah, you too. It's here, Mort. I'll go ahead and walk you down. That kind of night, huh? Andrea's pissed at me. <laughs> I can't imagine why. Don't get slippy with me. What's going on? We got into a fight. What else is there? Don't mess this up. She's good to you. She's a cunt. I don't mean that you're drunk. How's your boyfriend, by the way? Fiance, actually. You gonna marry that loser? He's not a loser, Joe. Does he got a job? He's looking. Yeah, he's a fucking loser. Who said it? I don't need shit. Then, go home, kiss, and make up. 
like doing something else. I appreciate that you helped me out, but that was a long time. Back. You loved it. Admit it. I'm about to get married. You were about to go to jail until I stepped in. Does your boss know what you did? Does he? Come on, Joe, please. Hey, Mickey, did Nina ever tell you about Mickey, the. Mickey, can I take a break? Is everything alright? Yeah, I just need a smoke. Of course. Coming, yeah, I could use some fresh air too. No more. That was the last time. You're right, whatever. You don't deserve a girl like Andrea. Yeah, I know. I don't want to see you again. What are you, 12? No, I'm 29. I'm your public defender, Danny Flynn. Fresh out of law school? Good job. Look, kid, that's not how this is gonna play out. I'm not some thug off the street. No, you are a thug from the precinct. Uh, cop, right, Sergeant Joe Castillo? I don't need to talk to anybody, so don't waste no more time working on my case. If you didn't commit a crime, then how come you turned yourself in? I don't fucking know. Yes, you do. Come on, Joe, tell me what happened tonight. I can't. You can't, because the NYPD doesn't want you to. Look, Joe, I'm not going to tell you how to live your life, because that's not my job. Okay, I'm only going to tell you that if you try to run from this thing, and you try to escape it with booze and drugs or whatever else you got going on, all right, it's going to catch up to you. And every time you look at somebody you love or, or try to do something, it's going to be there. Joe, you killed somebody tonight. There's no running from that. Let's try to fight this thing, okay? Get rid of this burden you're gonna be dragging around with you your entire life. Burden? I don't have a fucking burden. I drank too much, and I drove, that's all. I'm gonna sleep like a baby, kid. Come on, Joe, let's go. You're out. You gonna help me fight this thing, kid? I am. W Joe, what are you doing? Sarge, don't do this. You know what? There's some things worse than prison, Charlie. It's your funeral. <sighs> All right, Joe. Tell me what happened on Gun Hill Road. Are you really gonna smoke in front of a school? Jesus, tap dancing Christ. You're a fucking nag. I'm gonna smoke, and you're gonna go tell Andrew what an idiot Joe is. So I'm done with this case. I pretty much busted my ass to get this guy off, and he told me to go screw myself. How can you be pissed at someone for not wanting to feel guilty for the rest of their life? He's gonna feel guilty for like a day. A week if he's lucky. Look, once he gets into Rikers and those thugs find out Joe's a cop, that's it. Joe's a dead man. He was my friend. Charlie, listen. I No. Go deliver your fucking note. Say say a prayer. Light a candle. I don't care what the fuck you do. He's digging his grave. So what color is this? What color is this? Look. Red. Red. Andrea. It's about Joe. Andrea, I messed up pretty bad. 
It's like all the bad shit I've ever done to people caught up with me all at once. All my life, people have covered for me. I've put the blame on others. I can't even remember the last time I did or said something honest. You were the best thing in my life, and I didn't even appreciate you. I don't expect you to ever forgive me. I don't deserve it. But I just wanted you to know that I plan on paying for those horrible things that I've done. I can hope that I can get another chance to tell you how sorry I am. Truth is, right now, I'm exactly where I need to be. Nah, he's cool.